Welcome everyone. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how I change the background color of the theme I'm using for my blog. And the theme I'm using is the Tech News theme. So I'm going to show you how I change the background to this dark gray and the sidebar a different shade of gray. And you can change the background to any color that you desire, whether it be blue, gold, green, and let's see how we did this. Now this is the Tech News theme out of the box. As you can see it's basically a white background. The sidebars are the same shade. Um, so what I'm going to show you may not apply to the other free themes. But it may be very similar as we need to change the CSS for the background color. Now that being said, let me show you another theme, a premium theme. Let's, let's go to the Publii website and let's take a look at here Easy Blog which I had downloaded. This is a premium theme, but let me show you where in this theme, you can change the, the color format automatically with a click of a button. Let's take a look at this shade here. This is how your theme would be if you just select this color combination. And this is available on the easy blog, but on Tech News theme, we need to manually apply CSS to change our background colors. Okay, now I'm into Publii. And let me show you something. Let's take a look at the themes that I have installed. And here is Tech News, the one I'm currently using. Here's the easy blog we just looked at, where you can easily just change the color combination and I also have simple which is uh, I believe that's a default theme that comes with Publii. Anyway let's look at our CSS. Going to custom CSS and here is my current CSS background color FFFFF. Okay that's the font color back and here's the header which is where the post title background color is and then the sidebar as you can see also added some right adding in the sidebar let's take a look at our overall body background color in our css syntax as you can see i have a one one six one six one six which is a dark gray and because it's dark, we need to change the font color to a lighter color. In this case, I'm using white. So you can read the uh, print with, under, with the dark color. Now let's take a look at the header. This is where the post title is. It was of a different color, so I needed to put a lighter gray. And then the sidebar. Basically, it was black because it was the same color as the body background color. So I need to put the important property to override the black to the lighter gray. And I also had to add 10 pixels to the right padding because it was close to the text was close to the edge on the right side. So you may ask how I found the CSS, the class for anyway I'm using the Chrome Inspector 2's and there's several ways opening it F12 or right click and open Inspector 2's any case you can find the CSS as you can see here they're using the root color of white now, you can go in there and change the root, but 
then it may affect other areas of the website. So what I did was use the body, as you can see here, CSS to change the background color, also the font color. And another way is hover over the area and right click. And here you see the sidebar. And there's no color because it's exactly the same background color as the body. So that this is where you need to add the background color. The CSS in the custom CSS box in Publi Tools. Okay, in this tutorial, I'm not going to go and explain how to use Inspector 2. That's a whole subject in itself. But basically, what it is, right click over the area, it opens up Inspector 2. And I search for the CSS. And if I can't find it, well, you can go into the HTML and hover over each HTML tag. And it'll highlight where on the website you're looking at. And here, you can see on the header, it gives the CSS class. Which I will be using to import the background color. So that's one way of using Inspector 2. Of finding the location of what CSS is used. So in conclusion, even though I was using the Tech News theme, you should be able to find the CSS location for any theme using the Inspector 2s. So thank you for watching and more content will be coming in the future. <laughs>